everybody and welcome to assignment U. We're on the second page now, uh, page 208. And in these exercises 1 and 2, um, I'm just going to do one for you. Uh, it says to draw and label triangle ABC and DEF, indicate which additional pair of corresponding parts needs to be congruent for the triangles to be congruent by the AAS theorem. That stands for the angle angle side theorem. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start out by getting these triangles drawn. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to draw a couple of triangles here and label them accordingly. A, B, C, and D, E, F. And so far what they've told us is angle A is congruent to angle D. That should be a D there. Uh, B is congruent to E. Okay, and looks like uh, for angle, angle, side to work, we're, we need to identify a side that is congruent. So why don't we go with B, C, and E, F, and we'll note that here. Uh, segment B, C congruent to E, F. Okay, then we can safely say that uh, triangle A, B, C is congruent to D, E, F by the A, A, S theorem. All right, and you will do a similar activity on number two here. All right, number three talks about a flow proof. I know not everybody's totally comfortable with flow proofs yet. It's just another way to show proofs and reasons. Um, we are given this figure here, and we are told that angle S and angle U are congruent. Angle TR bisects STU, and we're to prove that angle SRT is congruent to angle URT. So what's going to happen is, we're going to point out what's congruent, we're going to show that the triangles are congruent, and then we're going to say by CPCTC that each part of the corresponding congruent triangles are congruent. With this, That's with these angles here, SRT and URT. So let's start out with a given statement. We'll put that in a little box here. We will say TR is the bisector. TR bisects. Uh, angle STU. And that is a given statement. Okay, and because of that, we know that two congruent angles are formed. Angle STR is congruent to angle UTR. And that is the definition of an angle bisector. Okay, uh, we have another given statement. Point that out here. We say that uh, angle S is congruent to angle U. That is a given. And then it's not given, but another statement is um, this middle segment. Uh, it's working for both triangles. So we can say that RT is congruent to RT. and that is from the reflexive property of congruence. Now all of these working together, um, they all point toward an angle, another angle, and a non-included side for angle, side, angle. So we can safely say that triangle SRT is congruent to triangle URT. And like I pointed out, that is due to angle, angle, side theorem. All right, and then we can say what we want to prove at this point. Now that I've established that the triangles are congruent, angle SRT is congruent to angle URT. And that is due to corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. There you go.